A nightmare of big bats and grandly cinder black house woke Betsy. Betsy walks barefoot in the Hudson Street loft. She checks on the baby, adjusting the quilt with elves and mushrooms. Back to bed, Betsy. Fix the dream, she says to herself. She creeps into the cavern to calm snarling creatures under dripping amethyst ceiling. Betsy's rosemary necklace, blocks the scent of the moon. The skunk out of the sand. Garlic stops the disgusting monster from breaking in the swine. The duo of the fantasy is spoiled by rain. The house phone screams. Granny is dying, Mama says from Clay County. I I'm coming. Honey, you're, you're pregnant. It's a long way. I gathered Cumberland azaleas for her coffin spray. No, it's Printapilla. Betsy put the phone up. A black pigeon leaves the windowsill. Rose shell blooming pink cinnamon clove in the woods is on her hands. The trumpets of those buds call her home. She packs diapers in her tuna bag. The light clicks on without touching the switch plate in her toddler's bedroom. Tell Granny, wait, Betsy chants to the hate. Milk is left on blue doorsteps. Flora sleeps in the car seat. Ephemeral wildflowers greet them roadside. Solomon Seal wake Robin and spotted Mandarin lean into the breeze the Volvo creates. These mountains heard the songs of the Cherokee, the Civil War cries and backfires from coal miners' trucks. A deer leaps out of way. Two smaller does munch foam flowers in their lips. Drive faster. Flora might be hungry. She moved away to Mary. The polished dirt floor of Granny's house was cold, so Betsy bought a manufactured home on piers and augers. Someone delivered it in two halves over miles of compacted gravel. Ahead, Betsy spots the mobile home and a little tyke's plastic car. Let's meet Granny. Betsy lifts floor, cloudy-eyed. Her cousin in a dotted dress leads them to the concrete cabin up the trail. Where is Mama and Granny? Up here. Floor is rejuvenated with oxygen from the dogwood forest ambles. Flora leaps as if she ran this path a thousand times. Hurry! The smoke lady's going! Flora chases a butterfly the wrong way. The marine blue lip toads drops to the child's shoulder. Flora giggles. The bug disappears. A basil bouquet hangs on the door with a bowl of berries. Betsy ducks through crackle paint doorway to enter the room. Mama releases the vent from the cast iron stove, her arms outstretched. She couldn't wait any longer, Betsy. Mommy, smoke lady is sleeping, Flora answers. Betsy looks at quilts on the rack. Why aren't Granny's things in here? She never moved into your motor home. Granny loved you. She left you her books and the land. The sound of the words made no sense. Granny could never own this wild country. Her sunlit circle of garden was the only patch in the hundred acre, acre she tamed the trees. Betsy kisses Granny's cheek. They head close to her mouth, but Betsy swore she heard her whisper, stay. <laughs>